so important too because yeah. if you start to sweat at all, like even the slightest bit of a glisten, Ooh, and yeah. then you start to get cold, that's when hypothermia, frostbite, all those accelerate. Yeah. It's very dangerous very quickly, so. Yeah, I never knew really the, the logic behind what you wear and the order that you wear it, but it makes so much sense. Absolutely, you want it to keep the moisture away from you, wick it away, absorb it, then you want to keep that. Remember I tell you about wind chill, how we have that insulated layer, then you just want that puffy jacket to help hold that in and block those winds from taking it away from you. But anyhow, we're starting to get a little bit more accustomed to the cold, aren't we? It doesn't feel as bad as it did say a few months ago, but still not pleasant. 10 degrees was our high temperature yesterday, that's it. Appleton, you hit a high of just nine. Now we went the opposite way. We're sitting at negative 10 degrees right now. Actual temperatures, you can see we've been about 10 to 25 degrees colder than yesterday morning. Plus we have a little bit of a wind, which is creating a wind chill for some of us at times. So we're looking at six below into Appleton right now, 25 below zero into Mountain, negative 19 into Watoma. Now notice the winds are only moving at three to five miles per hour in some spots. So let's take a look at those spots. It's making it feel like 22 below here into Green Bay. It's making it feel like negative 18 into Appleton. So please do not forget the scarf, the gloves. You're just going to want to be the Michelin man. Bundle up. Don't even show any exposed skin. I just had my eyes peeking out this morning. <laughs> Wind chill advisory in effect into Langlade County through 10 a.m. today. As you can see, in northwest Wisconsin feeling wind chills of near negative 30. They were feeling near negative 50 earlier this morning to put into perspective. Look at those winds. They're going to be starting to increase as we head through the afternoon. So our high temperatures climbing to the teens. It's actually going to feel more like sub-zero single digits, unfortunately. So we are warming up. We're just not going to quite feel it yet today. We're looking at clear skies out there right now. But if we look off to the west, there's that snow starting to build into the Dakotas. And of course, that's headed our way today. It will slowly move on in, giving us increased clouds by tonight. Chances for that snow through those overnight hours. But you can see winter weather advisory already in effect for the Dakotas because of the strong winds. They're only looking at about an inch of snow, but it's going to be blizzard-like conditions there for them. So here's those clouds arriving after 8 p.m. We're going to see the snow pushing in after midnight to our western areas here into the Fox Valley Lakeshore right around 1 to 2 a.m. or so. Kicks on out of here by 5 a.m. A few scattered snow showers linger, but overall we're not looking at a lot of snow either. Just a half an inch. Some of us might see an inch. Not a big deal, but those winds still associated with that. Another clipper system goes towards Chicago as we go through tomorrow. What that means for us is it's going to pull our winds out of the north. It's going to be gusting up to about 20 miles per hour. We'll see cloudy skies for kickoff and then also chances of some light snow further down towards Princeton and Fond du Lac. Notice those skies clear though as we through, go through the evening hours after the game. So what it's going to be feeling like is about 10 below as we're winding down the game time. Negative 15 wind chill as you're headed home. So just keep that in mind is what it's going to be feeling like there. So that quick little bit of snow headed our way on Monday. We are looking at about two to four inches of it. So as you plan your week ahead, keep that in mind. Otherwise, though, temperatures tonight actually staying above zero. We'll take it with that snow winding down tomorrow and the warmest day of the week with highs climbing to those low 20s. Perfect day for it, right? Because we're going to be out there at Titletown. Keep in mind, though, feeling more like those single digits. And, of course, sunshine expected for Sunday with a cold snap. We warm up a little bit on Monday with the snow. Cool down once again. Midweek next week. Burr. Burr is right. <laughs> Brittany, thank you. You're welcome.